right, let's jump right in. I've already dragged and dropped a few clips from Procreate to Procreate Dreams, and I used the Multi-View Stage Manager feature with the iPad to do this. From there, you will see me using the Timeline Edit feature in Procreate Dreams to select the frames from Procreate and adjust their timing all at once. I also adjust the width of the timeline because whatever the timeline shows is what the stage will play. Once I get it to my liking and matching the timing that I have in Procreate, I go ahead and duplicate the group all the way to the end of the timeline. Next, you'll see me making the animation for the sparkles, which is pretty simple. I just do subtle movements. They'll be bouncing up and down. I adjust the timing. And I'm doing all of this in Procreate before I transfer to Procreate Dreams. Once I like the subtle movement and the look, I go ahead and select all the frames, drag and drop them to the end of the timeline in Procreate Dreams so that it doesn't cover the entire timeline. It just makes it easier when it comes to adjusting the time of each frame. So I do the same thing I did before. I select each frame, put it in a group, move it to the beginning of the timeline, and I duplicate to the very end of the timeline. And then I proceed with the character animation where I drag and drop the frames to the end of the timeline once again, group them, and go ahead and adjust the timing. This is just a quick breakdown of how I used Procreate Dreams and Procreate to create my latest animation. I've gotten used to Procreate Dreams since it first dropped, and even without the lasso tools and updates we've been asking for, it's still very much worth having, in my opinion. As you'll see here, I'm trying to make sure that the timing of my Procreate Dreams edit matches the timing that I have in Procreate. And in a moment, you'll see me go in and change the frames per second that is in Procreate Dreams to see if I can get it to match better with how the timing is in Procreate. So here I'm still playing with the timing. And the reason why I can't just do the entire animation in Procreate is because Procreate Dreams holds more frames and is a program built for animating. I can have a bunch of animated elements going on at once without lag or the app crashing. I did all of the timing, editing, and audio features in Procreate Dreams, which is such a convenience. So you'll see that I got the timing to pretty much match with Procreate. So I'm moving on and repeating the previous steps. I realized that if I duplicate the previous group and just remove the frames that are in that group, um, I can drag and drop the next set of frames into the empty group, which will stop me from having to um, drag and drop them at the end of the timeline. And it'll keep them within the timing that I want. So that's a quick hack. If you don't drag and drop them at the end of the timeline or within an empty group, then it'll just spread across the whole timeline and it just takes more time to adjust the timing of each frame. So this is why I'm having to do these things. And I also realized that if I add a layer 
and yeah if I add a layer it helps it helps me to adjust the order of the frames so that's what I'm doing here and I'm just checking to see if the animation is matching up with the animation that I did in Procreate. Once I see that it is, I'm able to move forward and repeat the same steps. So I duplicated the group, emptied the group, and dragged over the new set of frames into the empty group. I'm adjusting the timing of those frames. and repeating that step once again. And that's what animation typically is, a lot of repetition. I realized that I once again had to adjust the order for some reason when you drag and drop frames into procreate dreams it will place them in the reverse order that you have them in procreate so that's the adjustments that i'm making here or those are the adjustments that i'm making here And it looks good. So now I'm going to go in and see how it looks with the real format, which is why I put um, that top layer that kind of blocks out um, the full format for YouTube and shows what it will look like on TikTok and using YouTube Reels. I realized that the spider wasn't um, being shown moving so I adjusted the timeline of the spider animation or the spider animation on the timeline so that you'll see the spider moving early on within the animation rather than having to wait later because I didn't animate it for no reason so it has to be seen now I'm just going in and drawing the demons from the sketch and there you have it this was a fun animation to do I'm not going to show the process of me actually animating these demons um, just like I didn't show the process of me creating the animations of the characters um, I'm just showing right here how I use Procreate um, and Procreate Dreams. Well, really how I use Procreate Dreams to edit my animations that I already created in Procreate. I'm just gonna let the video play out at this point. I wanna thank you for watching if you stuck around and let me know if you have any questions or comments.